I'm more excited than what I was before because the Model Y Juniper is different to the Tesla Model 3 to the Highland. It, there were some changes here that I wasn't expecting. Uh, and it's for the better. The anticipation for Tesla's Model Y Juniper is building, with numerous hints pointing to a significant 2025 release. From camouflaged cars spotted during test drives to gradually unveiled upgraded components, all signs indicate that a major update is on the horizon. So, why hold off on purchasing a Model Y right now? Today we present five reasons to wait for the Model Y Juniper 2025. What are they? Stay tuned as we delve into this in today's video. What exterior changes are coming? However, while Tesla does like to simplify things, they sometimes do like to surprise us. And this latest leak is somewhat of a surprise. Two images leaked on Reddit and then spread around the internet of the Model Y refresh. And they show us the first big change on this car, the rear light bar. A series of leaked photos, purportedly of the upcoming Model Y Juniper, have made waves online. While these images haven't been confirmed, they suggest some intriguing design updates for Tesla's best-selling all-electric crossover. Given the significant similarities between the first-generation Model 3 and the Model Y, many in the EV community speculate that the rumoured Juniper update might involve implementing the redesigned Model 3 upgrades onto the Model Y. The leaked photos shared on the subreddit Tesla Motors hint at some interesting differences between the redesigned Model 3 and the potential Model Y update. One photo shows what appears to be a red light bar with the word Tesla on the rear hatch of a prototype Model Y Juniper. Such a light bar is absent from the redesigned Model 3, suggesting a unique exterior feature for the Juniper update. However, another leaked image, allegedly showing the interior of the Model Y Juniper, indicates that the vehicle's cabin will remain very similar to the redesigned Model 3. Media outlets predict that Tesla will give the revised Model Y an exterior look akin to the refreshed Model 3, featuring a completely new front end with slimmer, more modern headlights, replacing the current upturned nose. The taillights and bumper are also expected to be updated to align with the Model 3 Highland, giving the Juniper a more aggressive bumper similar to the new Model 3 performance. These predictions appear to be coming true. A user named Jack Jack posted this image claiming to have spotted a camouflaged Model Y driving around the Rose Bowl in California. According to him, the front of this vehicle resembles the Model 3 Highland. He also mentioned that the last time someone saw a camouflaged Highland was about six to seven months before its official release, leading him to believe that the Model Y Juniper might follow a similar timeline and hit the market soon. Next, there are expected changes to the wheels. Tesla has a history of revising wheel designs with each model refresh, and the Model Y Juniper will likely follow this trend. The latest Model 3 saw its drag coefficient reduced from 0.23 to 0.219, and the Juniper is expected to benefit from similar advancements. Currently, all Model Y versions have a drag coefficient of 0.23, but the car can feel bulky with even the performance versions taking 3.5 seconds to accelerate from 0 to 60 miles per hour after accounting for rollout. In contrast, the 2024 Model 3 performance can achieve the same feat in just 2.9 seconds. It will be interesting to see Tesla's efforts to enhance the Model Y's performance. Theoretical numbers suggest around 510 horsepower, 0 to 60 acceleration in 2.9 seconds, and a top speed of 163 miles per hour. 1. What interior dashboard changes are coming? The upcoming Model Y Juniper promises to bring a slew of interior updates, especially in the dashboard area, making it worth the wait. Tesla has already equipped China-manufactured Model Ys with RGB ambient lighting, similar to the updated Model 3. The wooden trim on the dashboard has been replaced with the same fabric material used in the sedan. With the Juniper update, these changes will be complemented by a redesigned center console. A component believed to be part of the Model Y Juniper's center console was leaked, showing a fresh design. The leaked component, reportedly from a Tesla supplier in China, reveals an interior layout strikingly similar to the Model 3 Highland Edition, notably featuring concealed cup holders with a sliding cover. However, there are some new touches, such as chrome trim around the wireless charging pad, slightly different from the Model 3's version. 
An exciting aspect of the Model Y Juniper is the integration of modern features from the Model 3 Highland, such as ventilated seats and a rear display. These small details make a significant difference in the driving experience, underscoring Tesla's commitment to user comfort and convenience. Therefore, it would be disappointing if the Model Y Juniper did not include them. But the most significant change for the Juniper is the brand new steering wheel borrowed from the Highland. Like the Model 3, Tesla will eliminate the stalks behind the steering wheel, integrating more functions into the wheel itself while retaining physical controls for indicators, lights, wipers and voice assistant. 2. What battery technology and charging speeds are coming? Potentially either the Shensing lithium-ion phosphate battery or the Chilin 2.0 LFP battery. Two different choices there. Either of those, though, believe to be replacements for the existing LFP batteries that Tesla are using right now. Rumours are swirling about the best battery technology for the Model Y Juniper, but ultimately, two types of batteries stand out as the top contenders for integration into this highly anticipated model. The first is CATL's new Shenxing Plus battery, which boasts an impressive energy density of 205 watt-hours per kilogram and can deliver a real-world range of over 1,000 kilometers or 621 miles. This battery also supports ultra-fast charging, providing a range of 600 kilometers after just 10 minutes of charging. Even in low temperatures, it takes only 30 minutes to charge, matching the speed of most current EVs. Beyond performance, the competitive pricing of the Shenxing Plus battery is a crucial factor. As the world's largest EV battery manufacturer, CATL has announced plans to cut its battery costs by up to 50% this year, part of a price war with BYD, China's second largest EV battery maker. This significant reduction in battery costs could make EVs using CATL sourced batteries much more affordable. According to Statista, Batteries currently account for about 28% of the average EV price, making this development highly significant. The second option for the Model Y Juniper is Tesla's own 4680 battery. I recently made a video detailing all the updates on this battery, so be sure to check it out. Here's a quick summary. The 4680 Gen 2 features changes to both the anode and cathode based on NCMA, nickel, cobalt, manganese, aluminum chemistry, which can enhance cell stability, lifespan, and energy density. Besides NCMA chemistry, Tesla is reportedly working on incorporating NMC 955 cathode chemistry into their 4680 batteries, replacing the current NMC 811 chemistry. Tesla is also experimenting with asymmetric rolling, where one side of the material is thicker than the other. This innovative approach aims to increase the capacity of the jelly roll fitting into the 4680 can, potentially leading to higher energy density and overall battery performance improvements. 3. How will the ride quality improve? Beyond the visuals, the Model Y Juniper's ride quality is set for significant improvements. The updated Model 3 has already seen a notable boost in comfort thanks to a completely redesigned suspension system making it a much more comfortable ride. Considering that the current Model Y can feel quite stiff and occasionally uncomfortable on less than ideal roads, it is anticipated that it will also receive a softer suspension with a greater focus on cushioning occupants and insulating them from road imperfections. Another step Tesla has taken to improve the Model Y Juniper's ride quality and other future Tesla vehicles is integrating more advanced full self-driving hardware Earlier this year, Tesla upgraded the Model Y in China, equipping it with Hardware 4, which offers several improvements over the current units. One of the main advancements in Hardware 4 is its streamlined design. The infotainment GPU is now integrated on the same board as the FSD chip, eliminating the sub-board used in Hardware 3. This redesign makes the entire unit thinner and more efficient. The FSD computer in Hardware 4 also brings some changes to the sensor suite. It includes 12 camera connectors, with one labelled as a spare. The new setup has 11 cameras, including a cabin camera, humorously named Selfie. Indications suggest that the cars will have three additional front cameras, offering a more comprehensive view of the vehicle's surroundings. Furthermore, Hardware 4 includes a tri-band GPS module, 
providing more accurate positioning in crowded areas. It also features the previously rumoured Phoenix radar, complete with a radar heater. After this, Hardware 5, set to debut in about 18 months, is expected to be 10 times more capable than Hardware 4. 4. How is Tesla's production timeline shaping up? As of mid-2024, Tesla has significantly expanded its gigafactories worldwide, focusing on ramping up the production of electric vehicles and batteries to meet the growing demand. Giga Nevada primarily handles the production of batteries and energy storage systems for Tesla vehicles, including the new 4680 battery cells, which significantly enhance performance and range. Giga Shanghai, Tesla's main production hub in Asia, manufactures Model 3 and Model Y for the Chinese market and neighboring regions. This facility has bolstered Tesla's presence in China, one of the largest EV markets globally. Giga Berlin serves as Tesla's primary manufacturing site in Europe, specializing in Model Y production for the European market. The Berlin factory is built with state-of-the-art technology and aims to minimize environmental impact during production. Meanwhile, Giga Texas, located in Austin, Texas, produces the highly anticipated Cybertruck, along with Model Y and the 4680 battery cells. Constructed rapidly, Giga Texas is pivotal in scaling up Tesla's production capabilities in North America. Looking ahead, Tesla has announced plans for a new Giga factory in Mexico, expected to produce more affordable electric vehicles to cater to the Latin American market. This factory is anticipated to play a crucial role in Tesla's global expansion strategy. It is highly likely that the production of the Model Y Juniper will commence in China, potentially at the same facility where Tesla initially produced the refreshed Model 3. By expanding and optimizing its production capabilities, Tesla aims to ensure the Model Y Juniper meets the high standards of innovation and performance that customers have come to expect. In conclusion, the upcoming Model Y Juniper is shaping up to be an impressive upgrade, packed with new features and improved performance. What are your thoughts on the new features of the Model Y Juniper? Do you think it's worth the wait? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel to stay updated with the latest in car and tech news.